Everybody has to deal with a little bit of shit in their life sometimes, and I'm no exception. In fact, I've dealt with enough shit that I consider myself a little bit of a shit expert. <laughs> I worked for many years with my dog sending away Canada geese from park fields. Basically, Canada geese are world-renowned as birds that shit a lot. So my job was to keep the park's feces free. I was an official shit disturber. I'm also well acquainted with metaphorical shit. You know, work shit, career shit, relationship shit, health shit. Now, I know shit has a kind of bad reputation, but my dogs love shit. They love every kind of shit. Goose shit, cow shit, cat shit, bunny shit, you name it. <laughs> they love it. The interesting thing about shit is that even if you don't find it appealing like my dogs do, it has the impact of making things grow. You put it in your garden and plants go crazy for it. I don't have a problem with shit. Because let's face it, if geese weren't full of crap, I wouldn't have had a job. And truthfully, the purpose of goose control is to prevent crap from happening. But if no crap happened at all, the job would have been redundant. Life is kind of like that. You can prevent future crap from happening, but you still have to deal with the crap that's happening right now. You know, maybe we just have a bad perspective about shit. For example, coffee beans that are pooped out of an animal called the civet cat from Indonesia are considered a great delicacy. Although, I'm not sure that's a good thing. But then, think of horse manure. People pay good money for crap. And then there is the infamous bullshit. Many a thing was created by pure bullshit. No matter where we look, we are surrounded by shit. And whether we like to admit it or not, we also make our own excrement. Shit is not only a part of life, but it's actually essential to life. I mean, if you don't let shit go, you would literally die. So what I'm saying is, we can deny the existence of shit and just pretend to live like shiny, happy people. Or we can just say, hey, let's cut the crap. I'm a shit maker and so are you. Did you know that even butterflies eat poop sometimes? Yes, even butterflies. Another tip about shit, don't go telling someone else what they need to do with their shit. Even though your shit might be great fertilizer right now, sometimes you need to let shit sit. So when shit happens, and when it's sat long enough that it won't burn, just use that shit to cultivate your compost. Befriend your shit. Embrace your shit. Harness the power of shit. You can't escape it, so why not accept it? Go forth and disturb shit. You might just find yourself flourishing in ways you never expected. Just like the butterfly.